Hey y'all, Eric here. It is November 13th and St. Augustine Palmetto is still super green here in Western North Carolina. As you can see, it looks super healthy. Um, I am going to do a dithiopur video today, but first we have got some leaf cleanup <clears throat> that we have to get taken care of. The maples, the maples decided to shed their leaves over the last couple days and now some of the oaks are starting to starting to let her go in the backyard. Um, you'll see there is a lot more, but look at this. I mean, it's happening. <clears throat> so I am going to, yeah, I'm going to get this cleaned up and then let's take a look at some of the winter weeds or lack thereof. Super excited about the death diaper from Yard Mastery. Um, and we'll get on that, but let's get these leaves cleaned up. Dithiopur is a pre-emergent herbicide I chose to apply this fall because it is effective at preventing annual bluegrass, goosegrass, spurge, chickweed, henbit, and other grassy and broadleaf weeds. If you recall in my previous videos, I had a lot of trouble with goosegrass and spurge this year, so my hope is this product will make my life a bit easier. Dithiopur is safe to apply in some cool and warm season grasses, including Kentucky bluegrass, tall fescue, rye, St. Augustine, Bermuda, centipede, and Bahia grass. I applied at the suggested rate of four pounds per 1,000 square feet when my soil reached about 68 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about five weeks ago. I have about 6,000 square feet of lawn, so this 45 pound bag will just about cover two full applications on my property. This product also contains phosphorus, which is great for fall applications on summer grasses as we reach dormancy. Enough about the technicals. What do you say we get out to the grass? Really not much to report other than there's not many weeds in the grass right now. The pre-emergent is working really well, uh, in my opinion. I uh, do have some bitter crests here and there throughout the grass, but very, very little. As you get to the fringe where I didn't apply any pre-emergent, you can see I've got some henbit bitter crests, Carolina cranes bill, some false nettle, and some other weeds. But what can I say about that? I didn't apply any pre-emergent there. Um, so I'll take care of those later on. But as far as the grass is concerned, um, at where I applied the pre-emergent, I could not be happier. Um, my soil is at about 49 degrees right now, so I should be seeing some stuff pop up as proven by the bittercress here and there. But so far, so good. I give this product two thumbs up. Would definitely recommend. I strongly suggest using pre-emergent if you don't already. I use pre-emergent in the fall and the spring, which is pretty standard practice, and it's my first layer of defense against weeds. Please comment below which pre-emergent you like the best. Uh, excited to hear uh, what works best for you. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Really appreciate you watching and subscribing helps the channel a ton. I did get my results back from my soil test at Yard Mastery, so I'm excited to share those with you in the next video. Until then, see you soon.